Today we're going to see a short demonstration of integrating Plamy Linkit and Atlassian Deer, and this type of integration can enable um, cross-team visibility for your various Agile teams, um, enable you to allow you to use um, your cross-team reporting within Linkit for better visibility, but still allow your Agile teams to operate within their tool of choice, which could be something like Atlassian Jira. So the demo today, will uh, we will start out with Linkit and Jira, like I was saying, and we will see some epics flowing uh, one or the other direction between the two sides. So you could have two scenarios here. You could say that your high-level epics get created and assigned at that uh, higher-level cross-team level, which happens in Linkit, or your um, Agile epics could be created and generated on the Agile side, Agile team side within Jira. Either way, the integration will be keeping both systems in sync and sharing those epics. Further, we'll see these epics being broken down into stories. We'll see those stories also being maintained in sync uh, so that within JIRA, you can uh, utilize all the Agile day-to-day -day, uh, functionalities, but in Linkit, you can see your cross-team uh, reports and visibility into all different granular levels. Um, we'll also see certain updates go back and forth like status and other fields, but we will also see some additional, additional communication options for the integration like comments and attachments. So let's get to it. So first of all, here is our TaskLog integration hub. As you'll see, we have a lot of different integrations configured between various different endpoints. For the purpose of today's demonstration, we'll just focus on Linkit Jira. Like I said, we'll look at epics and stories for the sake of the demonstration. However, in your scenario, you might be utilizing various different types of work items. Um, as you know, in Linkit, you could have different types of cards, and in Jira, you could have different types of issues based on whatever um, if, uh, methodologies you use within your teams. We'll go ahead and take a look at our team uh, cross-team board within Linkit. So you'll see that I actually have one single board that will share information with various of my Agile teams, um, each team operating in a different tool of choice. And for the sake of today's demo, we'll be focusing on that top layer here that says Jira team. So I essentially want to say as my Jira team is creating epics and stories and working on them and building them out, I want to see that being reported back into uh, my board for that overarching visibility of what's happening. So we'll go ahead and start with that. Um, so I'll jump over here on my Jira backlog. So what I'll start um, with is create an epic. So we'll call it demo link at epic. I'll give it the same summary and epic name. Um, in my scenario, the um, criteria for the integration to pick up the epic is having link it in the summary. In your scenario, it might be something um, more granular like uh, having uh, the appropriate status or potentially you might just want all epics that are created in a certain JIRA uh, team to flow back over to link it for visibility. So there's a lot of flexibility as to when the integration takes place. So what we'll do to start with, we'll open up that epic here in Jira. And what we'll see here is that I already know that the integration has taken place and synced it over to the other side because I can see that my issue links now has been populated with a URL link to um, link it. So this just allows me to uh, know that the integration has happened and it yields me that traceability to where these items are being synchronized to. So if I open up my Linkit board, I can see that my demo Linkit Epic has been uh, dropped into my board as well. What I'll do next is I'll create a couple of stories. Um, for my Epic and within Jira, I'm just using the backlog way of creating issues within an Epic. Similarly to what I showed before, in my scenario, it just picks up all stories that are created within this board um, in a 
uh, your scenario it might be looking at something more um, like a status or some criteria. But let's say I not only want to uh, synchronize the basics, you can also synchronize all the other um, appropriate fields as you wish. So I, you could add some more information, uh, maybe add a couple of bullets. So this is all up to you to decide which of these pieces of information flow back and forth. Now, as I was filling in the description, you might, as, might have already noticed a couple fields have been populated here on the story as well. So you'll see I created two custom fields to hold that reference to where these items are being synchronized to. In this scenario, I'm just calling them link it backlink and link it ID. Uh, this again yields visibility, traceability of where these items are being sent to and the connection of the two. Um, now let's go over back to my board and you'll see that now the two items that I have here on um, the two stories that are created within JIRA have also been dropped into my board and you'll also see that the connection between the parent epic has been maintained between um, between the cards. So this just kind of gives you the idea of um, uh, being able to synchronize various different levels of items and also being able to maintain the connections between the different levels. Um, and also, if we look at um, one of our stories, um, remember that we were talking about the fact that you can also synchronize different types of pieces of information. So you can have your description, your title, uh, you can also populate custom fields. So on the Linkit side, I actually have created a custom field, a couple custom fields to hold the reference to my JIRA items. So you'll see my JIRA ID, issue key, and my URL actually also have been populated here. Um, from this moment on, TaskLab creates a connection between the two sides. Uh, so anything, any updates that are being done on either side will be kept in sync based on the mapping that you've created. For the sake of uh, today's demo, we'll update a couple things. Let's say one of our stories is now in progress. Um, let's also throw in a attachment and let's also throw in a comment. Um, some more work to be done. So if I go back over to my uh, board on Linkit side, I'll see that my card has already dropped into the in-progress lane, which means that you continuously get that live update of any type of progress that happens within your Agile teams. Um, and then two, if I open up my card, I'll see that my attachment has been sent over and my comment has come over. And similarly, I could answer to the comment add another attachment, so all this communication can happen both ways. So if I was to come in here and change something like priority or title, then that will get uh, synchronized over to JIRA as well. So the directionality of the integration on a per field basis is also up to you and at your discretion. So if we go back over to our story one here and refresh our page, We'll see that my Linkit Story 1 change has come in. Uh, we'll also see that my answer to the comment has come in. So this is just to show a little bit of an example of a live integration between the two sides. Um, and your particular integration could have various different other complexities involved, but this can give you a base understanding of how the integration works. So that was a short demonstration of integrating Plainly Linkit and Atlassian and Jira. Uh, please visit TaskLab.com for more information or contact us for a more thorough demonstration.